cool. Lights, camera, action. Yes. So welcome my friends. Welcome to this Excel hash challenge 2021. So let me tell you quickly about this Excel hash challenge. This has been organized by my friend Oz Dossele, where every year he invites all the experts around the globe to come at one place and solve this challenge. Now the great thing about this or I would say crazy thing that you get those ingredients. So you have to use those ingredients, those function formulas or the rules and you have to follow them and you have to build your solution. So let's see what do we have for this year. And this year, the ingredients is the first thing is that you must have a cutout person in your solution. And then you have to use at least two of the following. Let Lambda dynamic arrays or Power Query new data types. And the most important thing, the even function. We can use everything in Excel, but except VBA. So we are not supposed to use VBA in our solution. So let's go and build our solution together. So this is my sales data set over here and we have the records for the salesperson who had made the sale to the customer and the sales amount and we would like to calculate that commission and the organization has its own way of giving the commission to their salesperson so we are going to come to that later but the first ingredient what i'm going to use right now is the power query the thing what i'm going to do is that i'm going to convert this data into excel table so just press ctrl t and that will pop up this create table so once we are into create table i can just go and give my table name call my data and let the magic begin right click get data from table slash frame so my data is loaded into the query editor right now and there are some change types that applied i would just like to make this as a date only and replace the current step yes because i just wanted to add it over there and now this is an order details and i want to convert them into a data type so that i can use the relevant data belonging to that order so this order number has relevant information of date the order date salesperson and the country this order has been sold so i'm just going to hold the shift key press all the way till the country and this has been selected now go to transform and select create data type and let's call this as order details now as you can see those records are club and we got this order details over here the salesperson now let me go and do the same thing for the customer as well so the customer looks good over here and let's give a nice name customer details perfect so we got this records over here now i'm going to go and say close and load to and we are going to load it into new table and that will be new worksheet of course so our records are loaded over here so we have used our first ingredient that is data types now data types are great when you are working on a very large set of data and where you just need to load the information what is needed and later on while doing some analysis if you need to pull that information that time it is really cool stuff so like here as you can see for the ahmed trading if i go over here all that relevant information for ahmed trading is available over here so at any moment of time if i need to pull any information i can just simply click on this card and i can get it on my worksheet now from the order details i would just like to pull this date so there are three different ways what we can do is first you can just keep your cell over here say equals to select the cell value and automatically it will pop up those relevant information available in that data type another way is you can just simply click on this card and click over here as a date and the one which i like the most is just write the date over here the name what is there in the data type and press enter and you get that date records over here i need to summarize my value okay so to summarize it i can do it easily with the pivot tables but we need to use dynamic arrays so to do that i'll be just converting this column into month so 
I just want to make it very simple also. So I'll just call this as text and select this month. And then this month I'll call this as mm space mm close quotes and close parentheses enter. So I got that sequence of January, February and March like 01003. Now coming to our report over here. So this is a report over here and I have just prepared some stuff and made it ready. So those are quite simple stuff so that you can easily check out on this worksheet. So like I've already prepared the cutout person. So the second criteria has been met over here. So you can get the cutout person just simply going by insert and you can just go to illustrations and pictures and stock images. And by the way, if you right click, you have a nice option to put it on your quick access toolbar. So it will straight away come over here. So let's open this. So you have this icons, cutout persons, stickers and illustrations over here. So those are some great stuff uh, which are available. So cutout person is like people having their images over here with different, you can see actions which they are doing it. Like the person over here is uh, sitting and holding this whiteboard and you can just illustrate your information if you like to show it over here. So now I have put this cut out and under the cutout I have added a text box and this text box is linked to this cell. Okay, so that's quite easy. You just have to select the text box and just press equals to the cell value. So we need to use now the dynamic arrays and from dynamic arrays, I'm going to use this function called unique. Yes, that's really unique. So we are going to go to my data set and I'm going to select this month. Okay, enter and we got the list of the months over here from January to December. So before I go and I pull my salesperson name, I know in my data set, I don't have that salesperson right now available over here. So I can just simply go over here and say call out the salesperson. So the salesperson name is also added. So coming back to our report now, say equals to unique and coming over here and selecting this column for the salesperson. Close parentheses, enter. Now if you have seen that it has spilled across the rows, we want it across the column. So let's use the transpose function, transpose. Yes, close parentheses, enter. Okay, there is a spill error. That means something is obstructing to spill that information. To know more about spill error, you can check out my video, which will be showing over here. So right now I know there is some blank spaces. I can just simply delete them and my information has spilled across. Now, the one of the most important thing which we are here today, and that is the even function so the entry of the even function comes over here now looking at our rules over here we have completed with the cutout person we have used the dynamic arrays we use the power query new data types and now the even function so i know that this workbook is having some kind of an hidden stuff so right click and unhide so we are going to unhide this new data so this is the new data which I'm going to add it later on and unhide again. And let's see, we have the secret. So what is the secret all about? The secret is all about the sales commission. Only few people in the organization, they know how to calculate that sales commission. And these are the criteria. So if the value is greater than for the sales amount more than 2000, then that person is eligible and then convert that sales amount into even by minusing it to and you can see all that calculation is mentioned over here so this is the formula by the organization so let's copy this and pull it to our my data and say sales calc so this is our sales calculation for the commission and let's paste it over here so once i paste it over here now if i enter it I'm going to get some wrong results. So the best thing is just go to that cell value and just press Control V. Enter and we got that sales commission. Now coming back to our report. Okay, so we are switching between our sheets because we want to make sure that we quickly 
do our report so let's go some if some ifs okay buddy you are here some ifs and selecting the sum if and going back to my data selecting that sales cal because that is a sum comma the criteria range the criteria range is nothing but the months comma for the time being just press the comma again okay that's a trick how i write sum if functions comma and the second criteria is tim okay perfect so let's close it i know you're going to get some error don't worry now just simply press this function key this function and come up over here and select the criteria for the first one and press the pound key because that's in dynamic array we need to spill that information all across the range so coming back to the criteria 2 criteria 2 again select over here and press ok so i can just show it to you that how that spill range will work so coming back to the last information and press the pound key and it has spilled that information so that is cool so we come to know the highest sales now so we have the highest sales which is tim so let's go and get the information for the tim calling that index function index and we are going to say that this is the index comma and the row number so now with the row number we can use this new function called x match x match so the lookup value is the max value the max value from this sales commission range comma and i forgot to close the parentheses now comma the lookup array of course this is the lookup array and the match mode no 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 we don't need to put any match modes enter and we got the name of the tim so highest sales commission is for the tim yeah so let's go and now bring our new data set over here so this is our new data set control x just go to the data which is your raw data which has been linked to your power query coming down so command v so we have pasted this value now the reason why i press command v because i'm using mac system and this is running on parallels so i have a habit of saying command v so if i say command v understand my friends that i am saying control v so excuse me for that so this is fun okay all fun is go happening over here the main thing happens over here let's go to our data right click and refresh okay but we are not going to do refresh from here what we are going to do we are going to go over to our report and let's see over here and i have this refresh button on my quick access toolbar how to add it i showed it to you earlier just go to your data right click and add it to the quick access bar right click add it to your quick access bar it is right now added that's why it is grayed out so let's click refresh and just crossing my fingers perfect so we have sam now the sam is the person who has the highest sales commission for the year 2020 congratulations sam and one more thing what we are going to do we are going to go and apply some nice conditional formatting so let's make up it up and this is looks good and let me go and add some borders okay so this is looking nice now this looks decent i can change the color from here i can just go and say that okay this is a white one and i just need like to have this excel color yes that's the color of excel perfect and what we can do is go to view and remove those grid lines so it is having that nice and clean effect even we can remove that formula bars and the headings so we have a proper report over here the high sales commission so this is my submission in fact our submission my friends because we have did together for the excel hash challenge so as i mentioned in the beginning of the video that there are amazing excel experts those who have participated and i would encourage you that you should go and watch their videos also so i'll be dropping the link of the playlist in the video description so make sure that you check their videos as well and even you can try it out this excel hash challenge and do let me know in the comment section what have you cooked with these great ingredients so you follow the list follow the rules 
and just build your solution and drop me in the video so if i like someone's solution and i find something really interesting i would just make a new video on that and i'll be showing your solution to everyone so guys you know the drill make sure that you hit the like button make sure that you like all my friends videos subscribe to their channel and even mine and i'll be seeing you soon in the next excel video till then take care Bye.